Hello and welcome to today's video. Here we are rounding out this year and uh, I thought uh, I really enjoy these end of year videos because I try and make them slightly different each year uh, and this one is my uh, ink of the year. So my little qualifier for this. Firstly, uh, I had to see this ink for the first time this year. It doesn't necessarily mean it is new this year. It just happens that this one is. Uh, but yeah, I just had to see the ink for the first time this year. Um, I haven't reviewed my choice for ink of the year. That is coming next year. Um, but it is my personal favourite ink for whatever reason, and I thought I would just share that with you. And so today, uh, showing you my ink of the year, it is Diamine Colt Pens Michael. So this is a, I said, full review coming in 2022. I have this in my pile at Custom 823 to write all this up. Um, Diamine and Colt Pens collaborate on a number of inks. They've got their iridescent ink and the deep dark inks and all those kinds of things. And this is part of the Deep Dark series. They released three new colours into that. And this is the Deep Dark Ocean Blue. Firstly, I love this colour. I love deep dark blues. I love dark blues. Like uh, another one of my favourite inks, of course, is Diamine Oxford Blue. Uh, this is a little bit more vibrant. It's not quite that sort of bluey black blue. It's so sort of good solid dark blue. And uh, but also, it's named Michael, obviously named after one of their staff members, which is such a cool thing that they've been doing. Uh, but as it's got my name as well, and it's a colour that I really love, this is why it kind of, kind of won out. So let's talk through this. So firstly, the name, as I said, it's named Michael. Uh, my name's Michael. Obvious. Second is the colour. So, as I said, this is a really lovely... Uh, uh, I'll show you them here on, on all on the uh, colouring cards. I've just put it alongside Waterman Serenity Blue, just so you can get a sense of the depth. And then Diamine Oxford Blue. And you can see it is a very rich dark blue, and there is some sort of lovely red gold sheen, coppery sheen there. Um, you know, it's it's nice. What I like ab about the Deep Dark series, as opposed to things like the Iridescent series, is that they are very saturated inks, uh, and they're nice and dark, and they're sort of in like, you know, you can see against the Waterman Serenity Blue just how rich that blue is, but they're not, like, designed to be these, like, flat, sheeny kind of inks. They're designed to really sort of still show the colour, and I think you see a lovely sense uh, of that blue coming through there. Which also covers my third point, sheen. I think it's got a really nice level of sheen. The performance. Now, I wanted to show it here also on uh, Rodia. So just a little writing sample here. You can see once again that lovely blue depth coming through. Um, and like nothing has come through. Like, the, my custom A23 is quite wet uh, and it is abroad. So like it's laying down a lot of ink and nothing has come through. Even when we put down that heavy swab of ink there, it's not really come through. So it performs really, really nicely. And here on the Tom Moore River, I'll bring it up nice and close for you. You can see just the shading is beautiful. That like hint of sheen is lovely. It just performs really, really well. Diamine make very, very high quality inks. They are super uh, widely available, although this is an exclusive to Colt pens, um, but they perform well, they're safe. While these are sort of more concentrated, they're not like big, sort of like, they're not like some of the, you know, some of those are uh, like uh, organic studios inks that just like sheen like crazy and like clog things up. The last point I wanted to make here is the price. So, uh, the price is five uh, five pounds ninety, including the VAT. So like you can work out whatever currency you are working in, and if you need VAT and stuff. But at full price, it is five pounds ninety for the full size bottle. So that's the eighty ml uh, bottle which I have here. Um, simple like I've got some ink on it, so excuse that. But like simple like print of the you know the diamine label, just a sticker on the standard diamine box. £5.90, amazing value, um, which I think is great. So that is my ink of the year. I'm really looking forward to showing you the full review of this ink next year. I just wanted to really touch on it here and show why this ink has been my favourite ink for the year. It is more than just the name. It is absolutely the performance, the colour. I think it is just a smashing ink. Now, there were three other contenders for this that I sort of looked at this year and um, I'll go through them here. A couple of Robert Osters. So Blue Addiction, another exclusive uh, ink. This is to an Australian brand uh, retailer, Pulp Addiction. Um, it's a lovely tealy blue black. And then we get uh, Robert Osters Australis Tea, which comes from the Australis series, which is a beautiful sort of a uh, tea leaf green. It's just absolutely stunning. And then the one that really caught me uh, and caught a lot of people was Kiwi Inks. Uh, 
this is a company from the US who make who you know make a lot of really interesting inks. But one thing they do is they have this uh, uh, custom ink where you give them the you know the 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 letter code for the color, and they create the ink. And I made what I call hurricane purple, matching the purple from the uniform of my favorite cricket team. Uh, and so these were three really great inks. They all perform really really well. They've got you know great properties from brands I enjoy. Uh, but for me, the one that won out this year was this beautiful diamine uh, ink. Uh, from the Colt Pens Deep Dark series, Michael. I hope you found this video interesting and useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notifications button if you want to stay up to date with the videos that I produce. Please feel free to get in touch using any of the platforms listed below. You can contact me on Instagram or Twitter at the underscore offstage underscore me, or you can contact me on any of my videos here or drop me an email, which is listed down below. If you've got products you think I should be looking at, or if there's a way you'd like to support the channel by sponsoring a review or providing an item for review, I would love to hear from you. In the meantime, enjoy your ink, whatever your favourite ink of the year is, and I'll talk to you soon.